Multiple students have been suspended from DeSoto High School after a big brawl. The fight broke out Monday in the halls of the school south of Dallas. Police tell us the fight was supposed to happen Saturday, but the students postponed it until Monday. Fox 4 Sean Rapp has more from police and the school district. Sean. Clarice, good evening to you. What we don't know for certain is exactly how many students we're talking about, how many were involved, primarily involved or secondarily. The district didn't give us that information, nor did they tell us how many have been suspended. But the range of punishment here, the range of discipline could be everything from alternative school to expulsion. First, though, administrators are trying to figure out who threw the first punch in a hallway that led to a second fight in the school foyer. <laughs> The Monday mayhem caught on cell phones. Oh, oh. A staff member tries to break up a couple of guys going at it, but others are happening all around, some being doubled and tripled up on. One boy facing and fighting another student, sucker punched by a third. DeSoto police responded. Some of what they tell us is in an email. It reads, in part, there was a fight involving several teenagers, three of which are basketball players. This incident stems from a disagreement over a girl. The tumult taking place after second period. One student allegedly attacked by a group of boys who went looking for him. Friends coming to his defense. Many involved, seniors. The superintendent, Dr. DeAndre Weaver, we were told through his chief of staff, could not meet with us today. He was focusing on students and parents. But in a lengthy statement, the district writes, the altercation involved multiple students. Altercations like what happened Monday are often a precursor to more serious events. A quote from the superintendent who adds, naturally, the students involved will face disciplinary consequences, ensuring that authentic measures are in place to ultimately resolve the conflict among the students involved. Monday's major disturbance, a low point for the high-flying Eagles. Now, there were folks here on campus today from the district student support services staff offering additional support to the teachers and the administrators here at the high school. Uh, the superintendent, uh, Dr. DeAndre Weaver, is going to meet, planning to meet with the students involved in Monday's rumpus along with their parents as they try to ultimately resolve this type of conflict. We heard from a lot of parents today. The DeSoto Police Department said there were three members of the basketball team involved. Some parents suggest there were more than three. Uh, so a lot still has to be ferreted out here, but clearly what happened here at the high school, very ugly yesterday, and fortunately, no one seriously hurt.